Welcome to Mission Sunlight Chat from the Media Missionaries of Network 7 Media Center. Welcome to our mobile studio. We're calling it our Smoky Mountain Mobile Studio here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We are at ASI Southern Union for their spring retreat. Network 7 is uh, pleased to be a media partner and a member of ASI Southern Unions. And so as you look down the aisle here, you can see we're in the exhibit hall. People coming and going, uh, conversations happening between ministries, and we are honored and blessed to be a part of that. And our guest today... Narlin Edwards from Red River Outpost and a lot of other ministries. We're going to get into your story in just a moment. I'm Christopher Beeson, your host and our Director of Production and Engineering, Jordan Wagner. Mission Sunlight Chat is a nonprofit Christian media production. You can know more by visiting us at missionsunlight.org. You can give, click donate. You can text or call us at 423-855-4877 to give us your prayer needs or just to say hello. Let us know you're listening. We appreciate you and however you feel led to connect with us. One final thing, we want to share the story of Jesus. So share Mission Sunlight Chat through social media, through texting, email, to anybody you like or anybody you don't like. Just share Mission Sunlight Chat today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, our guest, Narlin Edwards from Red River Outpost. Narlin, thanks so much for being a part of our program. Glad to be here. Would you open us with a word of prayer? Absolutely. Yeah, let's pray. Father in heaven, we're grateful that we have the opportunity, as been mentioned, to share Jesus, Lord. Mm. And may every word spoken in this time together bring honor and glory to your name. But most importantly, Lord, be a means of bringing someone closer to Jesus. Speak to us and through us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Darlin, I want to get a little personal with you. I want to hear about your childhood, um, your growing up years, how you came to know Jesus, about your family then and your family now. Just tell us who Narlin Edwards is. Well, I, uh, my descent is Jamaica. I'm Jamaican, and I grew up in a Caribbean home. Yeah, I was born in the island Jamaica, but spent the majority of my childhood in New York City. Mm-hmm. And I uh, grew up in, I, I could say a Christian home because my parents did the very best they can. Um, but we didn't grow up studying the Bible, reading the Bible, and so on and so forth. And even though we lived in a good neighborhood, you know, I got into some bad influences. Um, the friends that I grew up with, they saw three means of success in life, mm. drugs, mm. Uh, hip-hop music, and sports. Okay. Um, thankfully, I didn't get into the drugs or the hip-hop music, but I did get into the sports. So I was, you know, had a hoop dreams, mm. desired some to make the pros someday. And uh, spent a lot of time. Uh, yeah. Now, for our audience that can't see you and you're not standing here on set anyway, uh, how tall are you? 5'11". <laughs> okay. 5'11". Yeah. So okay. uh, definitely didn't have a height advantage. But uh, you were into it. But I was definitely into okay, it. Okay, carry on. On a, on a very high level. Yeah. And I put pretty much my all into it. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, my coach that coached me gave me the percentage of those who actually make the pros. So I did decide that I'm going to. Look at alternative options, such as what most of them didn't do, get an education, and I did. So I did get a college degree in graphic, computer graphics, and that led to my journey in becoming my own Christian, uh, having my own Christian walk, I should say. Okay. Um, when I started college, um, I was on the junior college basketball team, mm-hmm. and uh, I had a class, and I saw this young lady that just really caught my attention. And there was something different about her. At that time, you know, I was really into girls and, you know, just just the youth thing for a typical New Yorker. But something about this girl really caught my attention. And she needed uh, tutoring in in class, and I gave her, uh, I offered to tutor her, and a series of events happened. And then, you know, we developed a liking for each other. And um, at first, I wasn't necessarily attracted to the religion that she had, but she did invite me to a Bible study. And through that, I began to study the Bible, and it became more than just going to the Bible study for her. It became my own. You know, we began to study about the prophecies in Daniel chapter 2 and the prophecies in Daniel chapter 7 in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that just really arrested my attention, and that began my journey. Those aren't small subjects. They're not, and that's where we started (laughs) in deep, deep Bible (laughs) prophecy. Yeah. Um, But that, it it triggered something, because what was funny is, uh, for those who have time to study it, um, those go through world history. It talks about the four world empires, Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece, and Rome in symbolic terms. And me coming fresh out of high school, I just studied world history, so I was familiar with the world history. Mm-hmm. And then seeing those same um, lineup of, 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 of empires in history, in the Bible, it really caught my attention and led me on a deep journey to study the Bible for myself. Okay. And I just took, uh, from there, I just took the Bible and began to study deeply. To the point where I got more into the Bible than she did. 
and that led me eventually to become a youth leader um, at the church there in New York. Um, then I became, you know, a Bible worker uh, for the church. And then things didn't work out with that first young lady. And in the realm of Bible worker, that's how I actually met my current wife. So okay. that's it's been a blessed journey, uh, that were, how God took me through that experience. Now, I want to be careful with this question, but that young lady obviously impacted your life Absolutely. for eternity. Have you ever connected with her again? Does she know the impact that she had for the kingdom? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're still actually friends. Good. Um, she still watches some uh, YouTube videos now. I have uh, quite a few messages on YouTube. And, you know, just me being in Delve in ministry shows, she does keep up with it. And we're friends. She'll call me every now and then for advice and so on and so forth. So um, so we, we did maintain a level of friendship over the years. Praise the Lord. Absolutely. Wow. And, and what a reward for her to get to see. You know, oftentimes we meet people and make an impact on them and we don't know. So what a reward for her to be Absolutely. able to see the impact she made. And Narlin, um, I, I know you're a humble man, but you've had an impact for the kingdom in a, in a big way. Um, your shirt says Red River Outpost. In our second segment, we're going to talk a bit more about Red River. But between you um, having this encounter, deeper encounter with Christ, with this young lady, meeting your current wife, uh -huh. um, tell us about your family now and the business and ministry that you've engaged in through the years. Tell us about a little bit about who you are more in current events. Yes, good question. So now my current wife, you know, we've been married 16 years. Um, we have... And her name? Her name is Samantha, yep. Samantha Edwards. And your kids? Three lovely children. Uh, well, two with one on the way. Yes. Um, and she's just an awesome lady. Uh, I couldn't think of anyone better for me personally. Um, so we run in two pretty intense organizations. She has a company called New Breed Meats, and we're plant-based advocates because we've seen the impact that it has had on our own personal lives. Mm -hmm. um, and her mom was diagnosed with cancer many years ago, and she's a cancer survivor of almost 15 years Amen. now. And one of the things that she said saved her life, apart from you know the medical intervention, the change in diet, lifestyle, and also embracing religion before she was not a religious person um, she wasn't living a healthy lifestyle and through cancer which turned out to be one of the biggest blessings in her life she was able to give her life to christ but also made comprehensive lifestyle changes and my wife and i just because of the impact that it has had on our personal life and our family life she said she wanted to give something to uh, people in the community people all around uh, to see that there are healthier options as far as dietary practices that still taste tastes excellent and at the same time you don't have the high fat, high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And you can also preserve your health. So she has a company called New Breed Meats and if one want to visit the website it's eatnewbreed.com. Okay. And that's B-R-E-E-D. Okay. So in addition to that, uh, in Stanton, Kentucky, we have a, a self-supporting or non-profit organization called Red River Outpost. Mm -hmm. And we focus, and the, the two, the business and the ministry go hand in hand, because we also focus on holistic healing, which mm -hmm. means mental, physical, and spiritual. We've had a rest. Oh, go I'm ahead. I'm going to have you pause right there. I want to learn more about Red River Outpost in our second segment. But okay, first, we're going to take a break before <laughs> you get too far into got Red it. River. We want to give people something to come back for. We don't want to give them the <laughs> whole story. We're going to talk about how Red River Outpost came to be. It's yes. a fascinating, miraculous story. Absolutely. Uh, clearly God-leading. But we're going to pause for a moment, back with more in just a moment. You, of course, can uh, connect with us at missionsunlight.org. You can give there, shoot us an email, text us, 423-855-4877. We will be back in a moment with more Mission Sunlight Chat. to Mission Sunlight Chat. Our guest today, Narlin Edwards from Red River Outpost. Narlin, thank you again for being a part of our program today, and thank you for sharing your personal testimony. Wow. 
God is on the move in a lot of lives and in yours as well. Praise Amen. The Lord. Amen. Yeah. So you were about to tell us about Red River Outpost. What is it? Yeah. So it's a multifaceted nonprofit religious organization, and it focuses on holistic healing, which mm-hmm. means mental, physical, and spiritual. Mm-hmm. And we have a health emphasis, a health focus, because we know that there's one thing that everyone in the world wants and to a certain extent needs is yes. healthy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And we've noticed that most people focus on the physical, not realizing that the mental and phys- spiritual also have a major impact, which is a biblical principle. Pr- principle You find that in First Thessalonians 5, verse 23. Mm-hmm. So we have a wellness program that we take people in. You mentioned First Thessalonians 5, 5 verse, verse 23. 23. I don't know if you want to whip out your phone and share that, or if you've got it memorized, you can I th- uh, I think I have it memorized. give us the taste of it. It says, the God of peace sanctify you holy, and we pray that your whole body, soul, and spirit may prosper, or something like that. It's paraphrasing, God but it talks about healthy body. Exactly. In every aspect in of Three dimensions. That's yeah. right. Yeah, go ahead. So um, we have a few different entities of our ministry. The hub right now, I'd say, will be our wellness retreat. So we have a program that we take people in anywhere from 7 to 21 days. Mm -hmm. And if you have mental struggles, physical struggles, emotional struggles, we take them in for 7 to 21 days. We put them on a cleanse. We cleanse and detox their bodies. Mm -hmm. And then we build it back up with um, uh, juices and uh, concentrated um, minerals uh, through... uh, you know, through dietary practices. Mm -hmm. Um, Then we also do massages. We do hydrotherapy, um, colon hot treatments. It's in a very serene environment. We're on a a nested in uh, the Appalachian Mountain, a valley of the Appalachian Mountains on over 400 acres. I've I've been there a couple of times. It is a beautiful setting. If someone's thinking about rehabbing their health, Red River is one of our most beautiful health Retreats, if you can say that, yes, yes. outpost, as you use the term for Red River, in in America, it's just an extraordinarily beautiful location for yes. rehabbing your health. Yeah. So daily walks on our property, we have a lot, and we're in an area called Red River Gorge. Mm-hmm. So we surrounded by beautiful rock formations and mountain climbing and so on and so forth. So we just get them out in nature mm-hmm. and try to take them out of the the hustle and bustle of their normal life and let them see the deeper picture of life okay. time for reflection and also time for mental healing as well so we work with a team of physicians and um, uh, psychologists for those who might be having mental struggles um, as i mentioned the, the basis is to cleanse the body detox it and then rebuild it and we've had great success in addressing the needs that people have i want to know a little bit about the history of red, red, red river and how the lord opened the opportunity for this to work but if somebody is interested Two questions. One, how can they connect with Red River Outpost? Phone number 606-448-3048. 606-448-3048. Info at redriveroutpost.org. And that website is redriveroutpost.org as well. Okay, redriveroutpost.org. Correct. Okay. And the second question, um, what is a, don't spend too much time on the details, uh-huh. but what does a day look like for someone who's coming to um, experience rehab for their health. Now, rehab may not be the right word, but they want to rehabilitate. They want to strengthen yes. their their daily life, their Great. whole health. Great question. So the morning starts at seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. Well, for them it'll start a little early, but we that's the time that they meet with us. We mm-hmm. you know admonish and encourage that they wake up a little early, um, have their personal time with God, mm-hmm. and then at seven o'clock they meet with us, and that's when we have worship together. Um, and in the worship, we're talking about the healings of Christ in the Bible. So we mm-hmm. take them through the various healings of Christ in the Bible. And then um, they start after devotion for the first week. They just have their juices. Um, and then after the juices, then they have a, a, a walk. Then they have a health lecture. And then they, they, um, uh, then they come back again for more treatments. Um, well, sorry, before, the, before the, the, the walk, they have their treatments first. Mm-hmm. They have a hydrotherapy, a detox. Then they go for the walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have the exercise. And then in the afternoon, the program kind of cycles. And then we close out the day with worship. So similar type program in the afternoon. Exactly. Close out with worship. So they're probably getting to bed early enough that an Absolutely. early morning is not a hard thing. Yes. The, we finish worship at 7, and then uh, they normally in bed by 8 o'clock. Wow. So it's getting them out of the normal hustle. Could and you come to my house? I would love to be in bed by 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to come visit Red River Outpost. Oh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, that sounds like a real blessing. Um, I have 
uh, as I said, I visited um, Red River twice, and the first time I visited was before Red River was actually a thing. I, I think you were just trying Starting. to decide names and, and right. setting up the facility. Um, so as um, lifestyle centers go in the U.S., it's a fairly new lifestyle center. What, is. what is it? Five, six years? Five years. Five years. Give us some of the history. <laughs> it's a it's a really good story, and I'm going to let you tell it. Yeah, so, oh man, there's so much. I'm trying to think how to start in a, and so I could end in a concise way. Well, I would start with a man had a vision. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, there's a, a man recently passed. His name is Volker Schmidt. Um, very missionary minded yes. man, supported the work for many years. Mm-hmm. He and his wife had a vision of what we're doing now uh, to see people come there and receive mental, physical, and just holistic healing. At first, it was just a weekend retreat for him and his family, and then God gave him a bigger picture and a bigger vision. So, by faith, they built this lifestyle center mm-hmm. um, as it now is, with the hopes that in the future they'll get someone to come in and run it to make sure that the People can come and get the healing that they need. So they stepped out on faith and built this 10,000 square foot building, beautiful, uh, paved areas around it, mm-hmm. and beautifully decorated, put a greenhouse in and so on and so forth. And they were, were trying to find the right person, the right fit. And me being in ministry for years and some other ministry partners, we heard about the property and put in a proposal to, you know, possibly rent the property uh, for, for use. Mm-hmm. When we put the proposal in, um, the Schmidt family, as they looked at it, they said, this is exactly what we envisioned when this property was built. Amen. We're up in age, and our children have um, other engagements in various parts of life, so their main interest is not to necessarily come and run this. Um, so I know you guys put in a proposal to rent this property, but how about if we donate the property uh, to you? Praise the Lord. So um, that caught us by surprise as well. Um, <laughs> And the backstory to that is, you know, uh, my, my wife and I, we were both uh, professionals in, uh, as far as r- regular careers are concerned. She was a corporate salesperson. I was in computer graphics. And we had stepped out in faith, deciding that we want to just give ourselves completely in full-time ministry Amen. in this kind of ministry to the Lord. And by that time, we spent all of our savings and even our retirement funds, you know, just keeping ourselves engaged in missionary work, doing foreign missions. And and domestic missions as well. And we had this vision as well to have something like this going, but we didn't have the resources anymore. And just a confirmation of what we had done, you know, how we gave everything up and God just blessed us to get what we desired without having the funds for it. And since then, praise God, it's growing. Um, we have a wonderful staff there, a beautiful community. We've actually planted a church since we've been there. We've started a restaurant. We've started a wellness program we're getting farm equipment in now and in fact we're in the process now of you know trying to expand with more staff housing and amen. more structures to expand our operations so god is truly blessed in the work that's going on there amen red river outpost dot o-r-g correct we hope you're being encouraged by our program today and uh, i certainly know that we are during the break we want to ask you to shoot us a text or email 423-855-4877 or admin at n7mc.org We'd like to hear from you. Would you share today's program with a friend, an enemy, a colleague, a family member? Share it with anybody you like. Remember, you can give at missionsunlight.org. We are here at ASI Southern Union. Take another quick look down the aisle here at the exhibit hall for the Southern Union Chapter ASI Convention Spring Retreat here in 2024. We're delighted to be here. and We're going to come back with more Mission Sunlight Chat. Our salvation is a day-to-day matter, isn't it? The real principle of the Sabbath is reconnecting ourselves with the Creator. We must learn to abide in Jesus now. We move ahead with our mission objectives, recognizing that we are serving together the Most High God. Welcome back to Mission Sunlight Chat. We're with Narlin Edwards from redriveroutpost.org. We'll just throw that in there to get the website in too. 
Narlan, I'm going to put you on the spot. I didn't even ask you in the break, but we're going to see if you have a testimony, something to share from someone who has been to Red River Outpost and some way that it's been a blessing. If you could just give us a couple of minutes of a, a story of something powerful there. We have so much. The one that stands out most is, and you can find that on our YouTube channel. You could just search Red River Outpost and search Kevin Elkins, Dope to Hope. Oh, wow. Young man, um, strung out on drugs his entire life, mm -hmm. uh, got in touch with uh, some folks and was able to come to our church and him and his mom were struggling with, especially his mom with smoking. And he just wanted something different, something better. And by God's grace, we're able to arrange to give him Bible studies, got his mom detoxed and now she's off cigarettes altogether. And just last weekend, um, Kevin was baptized and now he's the newest member of our church. He's been clean from drugs now, loves the message. He's a major advocate. He takes our Bible worker and associate director Ramon to meet all kinds of people in the, in the community. And as a result of his influence now, there's so many people also coming to the church mm -hmm. wanting more, uh, more about Christ, want to get off drugs as well. Wow. So that's just one of the latest stories of many. Wow, that is powerful. Absolutely. So if you want uh, better health, Holistic health, spiritual, physical, intellectual. That's right. Um, RedRiverOutpost.org. And your wife's uh, business is? EatNewBreed.com. EatNewBreed.com. And that is available in a number of large markets, right? Yeah, Myers is the main dist uh, distributor right now okay. that has a product, but we do direct to consumers. So at the website, you can order directly there. We're in other scattered um, places all throughout the U.S., so our website actually has a store locator. So, but Narlin, Myers is One change. of our largest audience groups outside of the U.S. is in uh, Central Europe. So would you ship to Europe if somebody asked for it? <laughs> Unfortunately not. No? No. It's, uh, it, it just wouldn't make it. And the cost of shipping, it just... Because you have to keep it cool. It has, it's a, cold, okay. it's a frozen product. So if you're product. listening from Europe and you're going to be visiting in the U.S., maybe you can figure out a way to... To, to get it back there, but... Um, yeah, sorry, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, our, our other large area is in uh, Western Africa, but um, yeah, no. I, I figured that was no. that was out, so just thought we'd check. Hey, before we go, would you just share, look at the camera here, or um, those that are listening, of course, uh, just speak directly to them, and just share a word of encouragement from your own heart, from your own life. You know... Um, I, I tell, I say this to people, and people might think I'm exaggerating. And I always say that if someone was to offer me a billion dollars to do something different, I would reject it as a demotion. And the reason is the Bible says promotion comes from God. And you think that after leaving a beautiful home, well-rounded careers, well-supported careers, that we would have lost happiness, and we could not be much happier than we are now. And the reason is we know that we're doing exactly what God has called us to do. So maybe there's someone that God is speaking to you. Maybe God is calling you to a life that's more fulfilling. Yeah. Maybe he's calling you to a life of ministry, whether full-time and part-time, and you've been hearing his voice and just trying to figure it out. And I'll say just give a God a try. Get on your knees and ask God to direct you. He promised Amen. that he will direct your path if you trust him, according to Proverbs chapter 3. So. My wife and I, we're just so blessed to be working directly for our master, and we could not Amen. be more pleased, and we encourage you along those lines as well. What a strong and clear word. Thank you, Narlin. Thanks for sharing that. Let's have prayer together. Thank you. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, we thank you that you are with us and that you are with Red River Outpost, that you are with those who are listening and watching today. Father, we're thankful that you care about every matter, that your interest is in us that we would be interested in you. Please draw us nearer and nearer, still nearer to you, so that we can come home soon and very soon. Thank you for being our soon coming redeemer and hearing our prayer. Again, please bless those that are listening in a special way today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. That is today's program from the Media Missionaries of Network 7 Media Center. This has been Mission Sunlight Chat with our guest, Narlin Edwards from Red River Outpost. Narlin, thank you again. It's been a delight to be here at ASI Southern Union here in the exhibit hall as well. I'm Christopher Beeson, your host, and today's engineer, our director of production, Jordan Wagner. Thank you for joining us. We thank you for sharing Mission Sunlight Chat via text email on your social media platforms even after we close you can continue to connect with us at admin at n7mc.org you can give at missionsunlight.org you can text your prayer request to us 
uh, or let us know other ideas at 423-855-4877. We truly would love to hear from you. Pray for us. We are praying for you. Thank you so much. That's our program. This is Mission Sunlight Chat.